What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and today I wanted to actually start like a little, I guess, series where I do audio effects the hard way. And I wanted to do it to kind of like showcase, you know, what are effects? What's actually happening behind the scenes and, you know, the pedals, the racks, and the, the chains that you use for manipulating audio. Uh, so the first one I'm gonna start with is pretty straightforward. And if you stick around, there is a tip I actually have for Ableton where you can get some really, really cool delays. So first we're starting with a delay and I forgot to grab something to delay. That's not good. So we're going to sample the Weather Album by Tycho. Speakers are on, the volume's at... Oh my god. Okay. Figured it out. Dangerous. I like to keep it a little bit dangerous. Won't be too good for love. So this is where the fun begins. So we have the original sample and the sucky thing about doing it this way is that you just you just cannot do this live. Like it's just not going to work. But I have something that I already recorded that I want to add the effect to. So what I can do then is load this on two decks. Oh, that's good. That is that worked a lot better than I thought it was gonna. Holy crap. Okay, okay. So what we'll do is we'll record it. Awesome. Okay, so then I take that. Oops. Oh, it just keeps getting better. <laughs> this is working way too well. Okay, okay, we'll record it. All right, let's just do it one more time because this, this is fun. <laughs> I can't believe how well this is working. And then what I'm doing also, because I forgot to mention, is that I have the the track because I'm starting with the you know the main sound and then I just keep adding on top of it and so on the other one I actually have the volume down just a little bit so that it has that decay that you get with most echo effects so let's do it one more recording There's no reason that should have sounded that good. So yeah, that's the effect. That is literally how to do echo. It's basically just keeps writing itself down. Now I'm actually doing this backwards than what an actual effects unit would do. Because what an effects unit does is it takes the original audio and then it pipes that out to your sound. And it takes the sec, it makes a copy of that audio and loops it back with a delay. Literally, there is a device in there that just waits and then it sends it. And so you have the delay time. 
and then you have the feedback or uh, God is it feedback I think it's feedback where basically that's this little volume control here so you know the higher the feedback the less it's going to decay as it goes away and you know if you have the decay turned like literally if you could turn this up to max and it would just echo forever if you wanted it to so that's that that is how delay works and how to do it if you have a two thousand dollar dj setup yay <laughs> and so now i want to show you how i can do a much cooler effect where you can one actually do it live but it's basically the exact same premises except with each delay and much like this with each delay you can add effects so what i like to do is i like to add a filter we have rotated 180 degrees so now i'm at my computer so uh as i said at the beginning of the video uh, I'm going to show you a cool tip I learned or figured out or something in Ableton where it's this uh, probably the most versatile delay effect you could ever hope for, but also the most tedious. Let me show you. Okay, so we're going to start off and we have a uh, serum here. We have a whole serum, one whole serum. <laughs> Pretty simple. I made a quick melody just so I can have something to work with, so I'm not tapping the keys all the time. Okay, so now we can pull up a delay. We'll just use the simple delay because it's simple. Um, I want it to be... I don't know what two means. I think it's two beats, but I'm not... I'm tired. I was up until like 5 a.m. <laughs> but now it sounds like this. See? A very simple delay. But all that's doing is it's just making a copy of the sound and also letting a bypass through. So let's actually build that manually. So this is a simple delay and we'll add it to a group we'll make a new chain and actually call this one bypass. And then in the chain, we'll actually turn the wet knob all the way up so that it is only the delay. See, I tap it, then it sounds. But when I have both the bypass and the delay on, it sounds the exact same as before. But what's cool is I can do this infinitely. So if I wanted to add another one, I can actually make a copy of this, paste it right after the initial delay, so then it has another delay and another bypass. So you get the delay, that bypasses through, and then you get a copy that gets delayed again. So now you have three. And you can just keep doing this and doing this and doing this until you have as many delays as you want. But you might ask, oh my goodness, it's just going to go on and on forever and it's never going to decay. Well, that's true. You have to do that yourself. And what you can do is you can do like a normal audio delay. So we'll change this to, I don't want to use that. Just throw a utility on there. So we'll turn it down a little bit. See, now it has that kind of like fade out that you expect from a normal delay but I don't want a fade out because that's normal. That's, that's what normal people do. And that's what a normal delay is. You can do some weird stuff. Any effect you want to apply on the delay, you can put in there as long as you have it. So I'm actually gonna do a filter. So first, we'll add that one. So now, it sounds like this. Whoops. I'll add the filter to the second one, too. And see how it sounds without the filter, no decay at all. 
sounds like I'm pressing the notes a bunch of times. But with the filter, you get that like, just, 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 mmm. You get that nice fade out, but it's not just quieter, it's muffled. I hope that worked the way I wanted it to. <laughs> okay. So that's really it. That's, that's the tip. That's how to make a delay that is fully customizable, despite being completely tedious, work in Ableton. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you might have learned something, maybe even gotten some inspiration. I know I have. So enjoy the thing I made.